Using natural human language to generate text and images with open AI models is very exciting. We will discuss the process of building a Microsoft Blazor application that accepts text input through a microphone or text box and converts it into JSON representation. This JSON data will then be used to create a folder tree. Okay, let's take a look at the application. I could enter text in this text box or I can click this uh, speech to text button, allow it access to my microphone. Create an item called home. Create an item under home called accounts. Create two items under accounts called internal and external. Create another root node called contact with two child nodes one called email and one called phone. I'll stop the recording and then I'll just click the create tree node button to create the tree. The request comes back and I see that the JSON's been created on the left panel, and on the right-hand side, the tree that I described has also been created. So what we can also do is make changes to the existing tree. So I'll go ahead and I'll start recording again. Remove the phone node and rename the contact node to contact email. I'll stop recording. I'll click the Create Tree button again. And as you can see, the JSON has been updated and also the tree has been updated to reflect the changes. Finally, we can remove all the nodes. In this case, I'll just type in Remove All Nodes. I'll click the button and the tree has been cleared. Large language models, LLMs, like OpenAI and ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo have been designed to enable humans to interact with computers using natural language, making it easier for them to accomplish their desired task. Currently, services that use LLMs like ChatGPT and Bing Chat are capable of generating text and images when prompted by natural language. However, the real challenge lies in getting them to do something in a safe and controlled manner. In this example, we could have used LLMs to create the C-sharp code to create the tree directly, but we chose to use JSON for several reasons. First, this pattern can be applied universally across various applications and languages. Second, LLMs have proven to be quite adept at generating JSON. Lastly, JSON is the most succinct format, which is important because we are charged by the number of tokens when using these models. By leveraging the capabilities of LLMs and generating JSON representations, we can build applications that are more user-friendly and efficient. Setup. The first step is to get a key. Go to openai.com slash API and click sign up. Navigate to beta.openai.com slash account slash org hyphen settings and copy your organization ID. If you did not receive an API key as part of the sign up process, navigate to beta.openai.com slash account slash API hyphen keys and create a new one and save it. You will need it later. We use Visual Studio to create the application. We create a Blazor server app. We install the following NuGet packages. Blazor.local storage allows us to store the latest JSON in application storage. Radzen.blazor provides a nice looking UI and the speech to text button to capture audio and turn it into text. OpenAI-.net connects to the OpenAI 
to make API calls. And finally, newtonsoft.json parses a JSON return by the OpenAI model. You need to add the OpenAI key and organization to the appsettings.json file. However, a safer way to prevent your keys from accidentally being leaked when checking your code in the source control is to right click on the project node and select Manage User Secrets. Enter your keys in this file instead of the appsettings.json file. The keys will be retrieved from the secrets file because this code on the program.cs file is used. The code. The UI code is simple. Just a text box for the prompt, a box to display the JSON and the tree control. In addition, Radzen has a speech to text button control that allows you to easily convert audio into text. When the page loads, the OpenAI keys are retrieved. We have to wait for the on after render async method to execute before trying to grab the latest JSON from application storage. If we find any JSON, we pass it to the create tree from JSON method to turn it into a C-sharp collection persisted as a global variable called COL root node. CLL root node is then passed to the tree utility get tree method to convert the C sharp collection into a nested collection called COL all nodes. This collection is bound to the tree control. When the create tree button is clicked, the following code runs. Essentially, this code creates an OpenAI client to connect to the OpenAI API, passing the prompt and receiving a JSON response. If the JSON response does not begin with a JSON array, then we know that there was some sort of problem and we just have the notification to display the message. Otherwise, it deserializes the JSON and then passes that JSON to the tree utility uh, get tree method to then display the JSON as a tree. The final piece of code is the get instruction. This is passed at the beginning of the prompt to instruct the OpenAI API on how to take the prompt being passed to it and how to convert it to JSON. This is where the AI programming is done. If you have any issues or need to change or otherwise enhance the functionality of the application, this is where you would do it. All the code is available on blazerhelpwebsite.com in the download section. Thank you.